Matt Damon's new movie The Instigators has an opportunity to redeem one of the worst-rated movies of his career from 2017. Damon stars in The Instigators with Casey Affleck, who he notably appeared on screen with in Good Will Hunting. He and Affleck also co-wrote the 2002 adventure drama Jerry with Gus Van Sant and starred in that as well. Outside of their collaboration on the Oceans trilogy, Affleck and Damon also both starred in two Christopher Nolan movies despite not appearing on screen together in either, Interstellar, 2014, and Oppenheimer, 2023. The Instigators releases on Apple TV Plus on August 9, 2024. Similar to the Oceans movies, The Instigators is listed as a true heist thriller with elements of comedy. Directed by Doug Lyman, The Instigators also marks the first time that Damon has worked with the acclaimed director since The Bourne Identity in 2002. The film was released in select theaters on August 2, 2024, but will be released exclusively on Apple TV Plus soon afterward. Although early reviews of The Instigators have been mixed, the film still has time to recover with a positive audience score or high viewership on Apple TV+. Given the star power of Damon and the Boston-centric setting, The Instigators should be popular on the streaming platform. Matt Damon and Hong Chow reunite in The Instigators, seven years after Downsizing. Downsizing received a critic score of just 47% on Rotten Tomatoes. Rory driving a car with Kabi and Donna in The Instigators. Downsizing was a rare miss for Alexander Payne, whose other films such as The Holdovers, Nebraska, The Descendants, and Sideways have been widely praised. The film starred Damon and Hong Chow in their first on-screen appearance together. Damon and Chow will also be reunited in The Instigators, with Chow playing the role of a psychologist to Affleck and Damon's aloof characters. Downsizing was certainly a low point in both actors' recent filmographies and is the lowest-rated movie in Damon's recent film career, earning a critic score of just 47% on Rotten Tomatoes. The Instigators will also feature appearances from Michael Stolbarg, Ron Perlman, Ving Rhames, ex-NFL player Rob Gronkowski, and rapper Jack Harlow. The film certainly has the makeup to be a streaming hit for Apple, Damon, and Affleck, especially with the heavy lean into the Boston-centric setting which both Damon and Affleck have been celebrated for throughout their careers. Damon's Good Will Hunting and The Departed are easily two of his most memorable roles while Affleck's Manchester by the Sea and Gone Baby Gone also take place in and around the greater Boston region. Why critics were divided and audiences strongly disliked downsizing. It has an abysmal Rotten Tomatoes audience score of 25%. Hong Chow and Matt Damon in a forest in Downsizing. On paper, Downsizing should have been a critical hit, which is what many critics and viewers expected it to be. The film featured other star actors such as Kristen Wiig and Christoph Waltz, two fan favorites who surely drew attention to the project. Downsizing's 47% Rotten Tomato score is the lowest-rated movie of Payne's directing career. By comparison, The Holdovers received a near-perfect 97% and earned Divine Joy Randolph a Best Supporting Actress Oscar. Most of Payne's directorial efforts have been widely praised by critics, which makes the critical failure of downsizing somewhat difficult to believe. Many critics found downsizing to be an unfocused and unbalanced mix of genres that ultimately felt bland and unrewarding in the end. Sheila O'Malley of RogerEbert.com wrote in her 1.5-star review, very quickly devolves into a bland story about a nondescript khaki-wearing guy who learns to care about the less fortunate. Andrew Lappin of NPR noted, it's the rare movie that seems to execute every part of its concept absolutely wrong, a narrative, tonal, visual and socio-political fiasco the likes of which haven't been seen in many moons. Mick LaSalle of the San Francisco Chronicle wrote, by the end, downsizing is one of those great ideas that should have just stayed an idea. Will the instigators be better than downsizing? The instigators currently has an RT score of 40%. It's difficult to predict whether the instigators will be better than downsizing, especially because both seem to have all their ducks in a row when it comes to a solid cast, an intriguing premise, and an established director. From the trailers alone, the instigators looks to be a good movie or at the very least a fun ride, but then again, there were high hopes and expectations for downsizing, which ended up majorly disappointing. It's hard to say confidently at this point, even though Damon and Affleck in a Boston movie should be a safe bet. The instigator's current 40% Rotten Tomatoes score, however, already is cause for concern.